The U.S. Marine Corps has hit a major milestone in its amphibious combat vehicle, ACV, program by awarding a full-rate production contract to Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace for remote-controlled 30mm turrets designed for the ACV-30 variant. Announced on August 5, 2025, this deal is valued at up to $330 million and marks a key phase in fielding an advanced, armed version of the ACV. This agreement involves manufacturing the MCT-30 turrets, stabilized and remotely operated weapon systems tailored to mount the XM-813 30mm chain gun. The turrets are adaptable to multiple armor configurations and can integrate anti-tank guided missiles, enhancing the vehicle's versatility and lethality. The ACV-30, developed through a collaboration between BAE Systems and Italy's Iveco Defense Vehicles, represents a strategic leap in amphibious warfare technology. Designed as a modular and scalable platform, it is set to replace the older amphibious assault vehicles, AAVs, while addressing evolving threats faced by marine infantry units. Unlike the troop transport ACVP variant, the ACV-30 is equipped with an advanced direct fire weapon system that allows for stabilized firing on the move under any lighting conditions. Its armament supports programmable airburst rounds, effective against drones, light armor, and fortified targets in both urban and open battlefields. Built on a proven 8x8 wheel chassis, the ACV-30 weighs over 35 tons and is powered by a 700-horsepower engine, capable of speeds exceeding 65 miles per hour on land and about 6 knots at sea. Its design incorporates an open electronic architecture and modular armor packages, allowing future enhancements like active protection and electronic warfare systems. This latest contract follows an earlier $51 million commitment in late 2024, which funded the procurement of long lead materials necessary for production kickoff. The current order includes roughly 100 turrets to be manufactured at Kongsberg's expanded facility in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. This site has a history of producing more than 20,000 remotely operated weapon systems for U.S. military programs such as Midas and Crows since 2008. Parallel to the turret contract, BAE Systems secured a $181.1 million modification to produce 31 ACV-30 vehicles alongside deployment and logistic support. Production is spread across five U.S. locations, York, Aiken, San Jose, Sterling Heights, and Stafford, with hull supplied by Iveco in Italy. Final delivery is scheduled for September 2027. Funding for both contracts derives from fiscal year 2025 procurement budgets, under the management of Marine Corps Systems Command in Quantico, Virginia. Additional contract options could push the total program value to nearly $3.85 billion for ACVs and over $271 million for turret production. Notably, 38% of turret manufacturing workload will be handled in Norway, reflecting the transatlantic industrial partnership underpinning the program. This step enhances the Marine Corps' amphibious combat capabilities with a system designed to be interoperable, modular, and adaptable to various mission profiles. The ACV-30 aligns with the Force Design 2030 initiative, aimed at restructuring the Marine Corps for distributed operations and high-end conflict scenarios. It delivers embedded direct fire support for frontline infantry, capable of operating during complex littoral assaults and sustained ground combat in contested environments where mobility and precision firepower are critical. With amphibious maneuverability, substantial protection, and cutting-edge armament, the ACV-30 is integral to the Marine Corps' Expeditionary Advanced Base Operations EABO, concept. It enables dispersed force deployment and precision engagements in anti-access-slash-area denial A2-slash-AD environments, ensuring operational freedom against near-peer adversaries equipped with sophisticated capabilities.